Over time? What kind of a company are you working for? It's only your first day there. Is your boss a slave driver or what? It's my choice to work over time. I found some jewelry-related information and... I want to learn all of it. Oh, so hardworking. Now, what should I make for dinner? That's not hard to figure out. Call one of your girlfriends and ask her on a date. You always complain about how you have no time to hang out with them. Oh, that's great. I'm finally free. Now I can make my girlfriends happy. Good for you, then. <sighs> anyway, remind me again why I wanted to work for Tessiro. I kind of need a boost right now. Yeah, to chase Xiaoliang. <sighs> right. I'm here to chase Xiaoliang. I knew it wasn't going to be easy. But I'm not giving up. I should go. Bye. Mr. Shao, you've been working late a lot these days. Slow down a bit. Three months is very short. We can't afford to relax even a little. Ever since Gowan endorsed us, our sales have skyrocketed through the roof. So the board can't complain. They ought to ease up on us. We shouldn't let our guard down. The proposal for next season's campaign is out. Contact Gao Wen and get her ready. Okay. I didn't know there's someone working even later than us. You're working so hard on your first day. I have to show my support, right? As your buddy. I'm sure you haven't eaten, so I brought you this. You're the best. Who's your best friend when you're working late, right? Wait, didn't you go out on a date? Where's your girlfriend? Oh, uh, well, we, we did go out, and then she had to go home to sleep early for work tomorrow. <laughs> what are you reading about? Jewelry design? Uh, I'm trying to memorize a few details. To save some time, I write them down here so I won't forget. I'm pretty good at memorizing. Remember how I helped you study for tests back in high school? So, shall I help you? What the heck am I thinking? Lei Yiming, wake up. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. Still working? There's supposed to be a typhoon tonight. You can go ahead and leave first. I'm staying for a while to read this. That's a specialized book. Can you understand it? Well, I'm still working on it. Sometimes it's all about talent. Hard work can't make up for lacking it. You've never seen designer jewelry, so how can you design them? Do, do you mind if I ask you a question? Go on. Why, 
Uh, why do you hate me so much? Because you keep trying to break into a world you don't belong in. Aren't you exhausted? door open. I'm just gonna stay right here. I promise I won't bother you. Come on in. You can sit there. <clears throat> Do not speak. Do not move. Do not ask questions. In short, don't disturb me. Otherwise, you're out of here. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Xiao. <laughs> I just told you not to disturb me. I didn't say anything and I didn't move. <clears throat> Is this the proposal for the next campaign? Get out of my office. What are you really up to? How did you manage to convince Mr. Lin to hire you? Actually, I don't know. I'm sorry, Mr. Xiao. I didn't mean anything by it. I didn't mean to look at the proposal. I guess I'd better leave, huh? <sighs> Mr. Xiao, C can I just say one more thing? Only one, sir. Go ahead. What I want to say is that I think the campaign would be much more effective if we expand the coverage. <laughs> what do you mean? What I mean is that the campaign's coverage could still be expanded. For example, you could make a micro-movie and release two versions of it. One would be a bridge meant to be broadcast on mainstream media like the internet and TV. The other would be a full-length version for other media channels, like public transport networks and subways and buses. Each episode will tell a story based on the same theme. I believe that this will intrigue our target audience and at the same time, attract people from all walks of life. Most of all, an ad campaign like this would grab more attention than the usual ones, and it's way more fun, too. Uh, um, but of course, it's just something I came up with. It's still half-baked. Have a seat. Give me that. I want you to read the whole proposal carefully and tell me if you have any ideas or suggestions. Do you understand? Okay. This is so creative. Did you work in an ad agency? Mm. Hmm. Why didn't you suggest this earlier? Actually, I drafted a proposal and gave it 
It seems Mr. Lin didn't give my proposal to Mr. Xiao. Why did he hold it back? Never mind. Like Yi Ming said, I should avoid conflicts. Just act like it's nothing. What is it? Is something wrong? Oh, nothing's wrong. Mr. Xiao, did I hear you right? Do you really think I'm creative? <laughs> I'm very flattered. You want to join the planning team? I'm not ready to leave the design team. You'd rather stay in design as an assistant. I know that I'm only an assistant now, but that's exactly why I can't leave yet. If I choose to leave now, it would be like saying I gave up, I surrendered. I've never been a quitter. Um, but of course, working hard still might not lead to success. Uh, people like me, who've never seen designer jewelry, will have a hard time designing good jewelry. Come in. I'm sorry, Mr. Shao. No one's on duty tonight because of the coming typhoon. But the power's back on and the elevators are back in service. You can leave any time. Well, Mr. Shao, I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much. Hang on. What's your name? <laughs> it's me, Duo. Thank you again. Bye. <laughs> Dr. Lei. Uh, do you have time now? Yes, I do. Why close the door and hide your face? Are you getting a prostate exam or something? I'm a psychiatrist, you know. Very funny. Why bother covering your face? Everyone here knows you. Uh, frankly speaking, I came here today on behalf of a friend of mine. I see. Go on. He went through a breakup recently. And now he's a little confused because he's having feelings for a childhood friend. <sighs> They used to be just like brother and sister. What kind of feelings? Like annoyed. Annoyed? Yes, I said extremely annoyed. It's the sort of irritation that makes him depressed at times and gives him palpitations. When he sees Fatty, he gets so annoyed, he becomes a totally different person. Do you think that he may be suffering from depression because of too much pressure? You know you're far from being depressed. Wait, I'm stop like... right there. I wasn't talking about me. Oh, I mean your friend's condition has nothing to do with depression. Then what's wrong with him? Your friends love sick. Impossible. Have you heard of the Yiddish saying, there are three things in life that can't be hidden. Coughing, poverty, and love. If you're in love with someone- Okay, okay, stop it. It's not me. I told you, it's my friend. <sighs> yes, of course. Your friend. Watch your words then. It's okay. not me. As I was saying, if your friend's in love, then he can't help but miss her or stop caring for her. Without her, he feels stressed. With her, it feels like, in the entire world, only her silhouette remains engraved in your mind. Oh, I mean your friend's mind. Unfortunately, there's no method or drug anywhere that could control such symptoms. <sighs> did you break up with your girlfriend? I mean, did your friend? Diamond Micro Movie takes a look into the hearts of thousands of people in cities. Eight directors, eight cities, eight stories from post 60s, post 70s, and post 80s generation. Each one depicting a tale of romantic love. We hope you can relate to their stories. We hope their stories will touch your lives and stir your heart. If they are made in the form of a micro movie, the ads will attract a larger audience. It would also enhance viewing pleasure and image retention. Tell me what you guys think. This company's never used this form of promotion. I'm afraid there might be some risks. But this is unique, creative, and yet trendy. It goes well with the times we are in now. I really like it. All right, that's what we'll do then. Mr. Shao, this is the list of people selected for the film crew. Let the directors choose their crew. As for the design department, let's see. It's Liu Xuan and Chen Min, right? Mr. Lin? Liu Xian is in charge of the jewelry's design. Replace one of them. I have someone else in mind. And that is... Miduo. 
You know her? I do. It was her idea to make a micro movie. Lei Ming! Listen, I have great news. I'm gonna work on the film. Lei Ming? Hey. Are you in there? No way. I can't be in love with her. Come on, how could I be in love with Fatty? She's Fatty. Stop it. Stop thinking about her. Stop, 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 stop. <sighs> Stop, 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 stop. <sighs> uh, why are you calling me now of all times? Did something happen? Lei Ming, something great happened at work. It's about Xiao Yang again, isn't it? Could you leave me alone? I need some time for myself too, you know? I have to save the ladies. I don't have time for idle talk. Hey! I wonder why he's so cranky. Could it be because of his breakup? Stop. Stop. Uh. Hey, hon. Welcome back. Did you bring dinner? No, I didn't. I'm too pissed off. How come? Who pissed you off? You know who. As usual, it's Miduo. She's a total newbie. And yet Mr. Xiao made her my assistant in the film. I don't know what she could do. She'll definitely make a mess. Hey, if she's a newbie, then why don't you teach her? Why get so angry? I've come this far, slowly and painfully, by working hard. If you want to be the best, you have to go through pain, just like everyone else. Okay. okay. Oh, but not her. The boss favors her, <laughs> just because she's pretty. Do you think that's fair? All right, listen. <sighs> Look, what could we do? We're not Mr. Xiao. It's fate. What about fate? I won't accept fate. All you ever talk about is fate. Don't you have any ambition? I'm working under such pressure, but never did I give in to fate. Is it your fate to play games? You had a hard time at work. Why take it out on me? Every day you come home full of negativity. Have you ever considered how I feel? I am your boyfriend, not your punching bag. <sighs> Gawain, it's coming! always accompanied my Mr. Shao to Tessiero's events. Now he's the lead actor in your micro-movie. Rumor has it you two are dating. Is it true or is it just hype? Mr. Shao, you accepted the lead role. Are you doing this for Gala? Um, thank you for your interest, but he and I just work together, right? We hope you'll watch this hero's micro movie. Thank you. All right, that's all for today. Please excuse us. Make way, please. Miss Gao and Mr. Shao have to go to work. Please make way. Gawain! So tell me, why did you agree to be the lead actor? I thought you were indetracted to me. People think I am, and that's enough. <laughs> I like your attitude. I have to give you a heads up, though. There's a kissing scene. <clears throat> Sweetheart, we have to go and meet the director. Right, I should go. Miduo, hold my hand. It's lovely. Hey, Miduo, can't you hear me? It's time to work. I'm sorry, Siyuan. You're supposed to be my assistant. Don't forget your job. It won't happen again. Mr. Xiao. Are you ready? Hmm? Ready? Ready for what? As the one who came up with this project, you need to keep track of the shoot. Is that so? Thank you, Mr. Xiao. No talent will be wasted in my company. You'd better work hard. Mm. Will do, sir. Get to work.
Let's continue. What did I tell you? He's not a big deal. I've met directors more famous than yeah. him. It was easy to win him over. You are popular after all. Sit down and relax a bit. Where's the costume? Give it to me. Miss Gao, your dress. Has it been touched by anyone? Probably not. I won't wear something touched by others. Jason, change it. Okay. Listen, Miss Gao. I'm a designer at the Ciro. I design and I style. Sorry, but I don't do wardrobe. You know, I didn't come here to listen to the staff complain. Change the dress or I will have you changed. Don't waste my time. Um, Miss Gao? Um, I've read about you online and I know that you're particular about cleanliness. That's why before today's shoot, I checked each and every one of the dresses and made sure no one touched them. Rest assured, they're all clean. Good. Then you'll be in charge of my wardrobe. Me? But Miss Gao, I'm just a rookie. CUN is a professional designer. <laughs> you two are fascinating. Rookie or not, it's all about doing a good job. I choose you. Jason, deal with her. Okay. CUN! I have a question. <clears throat> are we gonna Come start here. soon? Yes. You can change over there. Let's go. It's you. You're still alive? Uh, it's been a while, huh? <laughs> you said you had stage four cancer. So what happened? How come you're still alive? <coughs> I just, I eventually beat the disease and made a full recovery. As you can see, I'm in perfect health. You don't need to say anything. I'll never leave you again. Let's give us another shot. Patty. What did you call me? I, I didn't call you anything. What's wrong, honey? You called me Fatty. I'm 45 kilos at 5 foot 4. You never said I was fat before. Who the heck is Fatty? Oh, hang on, you must have heard me wrong. I didn't call you Fatty, I was calling your name. So what's my name then? Oh. Uh, babe? You asshole! <sighs> Did I say Fatty? It must be a sign. I should go for it. Come on. Ugh. Fatty, I'm home. Guess what I brought you? Your favorite braced pig's feet. It's even cooked the way you like it. Come on, let's not be mad at each other anymore. There's no issue we can't resolve. Laming, I'm sorry. Even though I know you just broke up with your girlfriend, I kept talking to you about Xiao Liang. The fact is, I just want to share things with you. You are, after all, my oldest and dearest friend. I've been thinking about what you said the other day. If you need some time alone, then I'll wait for you. I'll be working as a film crew for a while. Please take good care of yourself. Long live our friendship. <sighs> Fatty, I didn't mean to hurt you. I won't yell at you ever again. Look at me. Take a look at what you've done to me. Let's forget about what happened. And go back to the old days, okay? Only when I see you do I feel secure. <sighs> About the person in charge, Chiyo told me it's official. You're in charge of Gawain's wardrobe. I don't want anything to do with her anyway. She's too fussy. Nothing I do makes her happy. She's your problem now. Thank you, Siwen. Don't thank me. It's all part of the job. <laughs> I've already signed this. Take care of the rest. Dad, those cables on the floor. Bring the east to the office. Find out what's been happening there. Then report to me. I will. We need more of those plastic fluids. Excuse me, coming through. Hurry up. <gasps> <gasps> 
Are you all right? Mido. 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 She's hurt. Somebody Come help me. Somebody, Somebody get ambulance. the car. Quick. Hurry. Move it. Hurry. Get the car. She gonna be okay? It's terrible. Hello? How's the shoot going? Are you working hard? Uh, this is actually Mido's boss. She can't answer her phone right now. She was injured at work. She's currently in the hospital. You're awake. How do you feel? Mm, I'm okay. Well, my head hurts a little. The doctor treated your wound. The pain means you're recovering. Don't tell me you've been here the whole time. Why did you save me? If you wanted to thank me, you didn't have to risk your own life. That's not why I saved you. Then why? Well, I saved you because... Because I happened to be walking past. That's why I knew I had to save you. No one risks their life for nothing. I don't buy it. What do you want? If I had a time to think about what I could get from saving you, I wouldn't have had a time to save you. Mr. Xiao, money may be powerful, but it cannot buy the things that are most important in life. that you've been acting a little strange since I picked you up at the hospital. Jiu, tell me, do you think I'm too suspicious of people? <sighs> well, sir, it's a, a little hard to say. think about the accident? I'm close to putting it behind me. Oh yeah, today shall... Um... I'm sorry. I forgot you just had a breakup. I shouldn't keep telling you about my stuff. 
Oh, it's okay. It was my anger talking on the phone. Don't take it seriously. From now on, you can talk about Shaoliang all day, and I won't be bothered, okay? <laughs> That's the Lei Ming I know. Oh, you've been so moody these days. I found it so hard to get along with you. <clears throat> I just figured it all out. I've decided that as long as you're happy, I can put aside all of my problems. I just want to be happy together with you. If you were hurt, no matter where I am, I'd come and keep you company. <sighs> you and I are friends. I won't allow anything to come between us. What are you getting so sentimental for? Is there something wrong? Oh, it's nothing. I'm just... Maybe I was just too stressed out, which is why I've been a little off. But now that I'm with you, I feel better. <laughs> okay, it seems I didn't get injured for nothing. I mean, I got to save Xiaoliang and make up with you. What are you talking about? That wasn't why you got hurt. <laughs> Don't laugh. Oh, my best friend is finally back. I'm so happy. Hey, look at me. Do you think this will leave a scar? Are there any other wounds on my face? Mm. Well? No, it's okay. <laughs> Good to know. No way. How am I supposed to act that out? When I meet the leading man, I should feel conflicted. I can't just run over and kiss him. But that's the only way to show your love. It's the point of the film. It gives festive atmosphere. <laughs> it's a micro movie for crying out loud. If you want a festive atmosphere, bring in drums and gongs. I don't have time to discuss this with you. Hey, what's going on? Why are you back here? I had to rush back because I wanted to help. I didn't miss much work, did I? Miss work? Are you kidding me? No, even if you want to work, you might not have the chance. Huh? Sorry to say this, but you're not. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't need ten takes every time. <sighs> Fine. Since you have the final say, then I quit. You... Let her go! If you leave, you're done! <sighs> this is bad. I should call Mr. Xiao. Gawain might leave for real. Are you kidding me? Do you think he'll answer your call? Just relax. No matter how big a scene she makes, Gawain always comes back. It'll all work out. Well, we should go and make sure that the next dress is ready. <sighs> hmm? Sweetie, your tea's ready. Have some. Where are my clothes? Your clothes? What's wrong? They changed the schedule? No, they changed the actress. Are you serious? Hey, is this a joke, huh? Here you go. The necklace for Gowen's next scene. Put them there. Hang on, who pissed her off on the set? I have no idea. No idea? Weren't you just in the set? I'm sorry, but it's not part of my job. What? Hey! You are so irresponsible! You... <sighs> oh, sweetie, listen. Maybe we can work it out. The crew's waiting. Let's go back, shall we? Could you just leave me alone? You've already signed the contract. Leave and we lose money. Got I told it? you to leave me alone! Okay. <laughs> Sweetie. Luke, it's going! Hey, Fatty, are you all right? If you are, then I'm going. Bye. <laughs> Excuse me, you're in the wrong car. Get me out of here. Oh, wait, I know you. Aren't you that? Stop guessing who I am and hit the gas. Wait, go no, on. Wait, wait, wait. Don't go. All oh, right, you're going, the actress. We can talk about this later. Get us out of here. Okay, okay. Wait. Wait, wait. Just, you Come won't. back. <sighs> she got away. <sighs> Isn't that Gowen? 
she must be some kind of monster. As if God would come to a place like this. I know. It's all done. Idea. Your wish is my command. I got all the dishes you wanted. Okay. Stop staring. She's not a panda. Focus on your food, okay? But I'm pretty sure I know. You ran out on the shoot just so you could come here? How much to hire you as my chauffeur for the day? One that doesn't ask any questions. I wonder how much. <sighs> what are you doing? If I sell this picture to the paparazzi, I wouldn't have to take your money. Delete it now. Come on, give me your phone. Give it to me. Give it to me. Okay, fine. You can have it. Here. <sighs> well, how do I look? Pay close attention to my eyes. Do I look like the kind of guy who cares about money? Oh, don't worry. I'll be your chauffeur and your bodyguard for the day. I may be a lousy one, but I won't do anything bad to you. But I'm late for work because of what you did. I have to take the day off. So after eating, where shall we go? So are you having fun? Uh, I guess. Relax. Look around. No one's watching you. Everyone here's minding their own business. They don't really care about you. You only live once, you know. You shouldn't care too much about what others think and focus on your own feelings instead. Understand? Let's put it this way. Are you happy today? Mm-hmm. Yes, I am. Then that's enough. So now. Is there anything else you want to do? One more thing. Let's go. Follow me. <laughs> hey, Superstar, slow down. Would you please? <laughs> You're scaring me. This is nice. Aren't you happy? Yeah, I'm sure. happy. So happy. Let's go even faster. No, don't. Slow down. <laughs> Did I hear you correctly? You want me to be Gao and Stubble? Yes, the scene's all set. Without the lead actress, what can we shoot? Huh. You and Gao Wen have similar figures. That's why you're perfect as her double, right? Am I right, guys? No, wait, wait, listen. I don't know how to act. Besides, I still have a job to do here. If my work is affected, Siu Wen will yell at me. Hey, come here a sec, Siu Wen. Help me convince your assistant to do the shot. Talk to her, huh? <laughs> I heard everything. Go ahead, get ready. It's an employee's duty to help the company save money. Hmm? All right. Go on. Huh? Get ready.
します。